Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A van crashed in Center County, leaving one man dead, and that man was a driver for a well-known area hotel. This is a look at this scene. We are told many people pulled over to try to help the student, but the van called fire and they were pushed back. The van was smashed and unfortunately the student did not make it. Six News reporter Lauren Hensley is live in Center County. She has the latest. Lauren? Carrie, you can see right behind me a portion of the lane is still closed. The cleanup here continues. Now, I am being told by a university spokesperson that the driver was hired by the Penn State Hotel and he was a student driver. Now, what officials say is that the driver hit a sign and then crashed into a pole and then finally his van caught fire. This was the scene along East Park Avenue just before two near the Innovation Park on ramp in State College. I've been doing this a long time. Um, when I arrived, I was just kind of in shock. Um, a lot of, uh, like I said, damage to the vehicle and then with the, the fire, um, it's, uh, it's heart wrenching. Officials say one young man was inside. He was a student driver for the Penn Stater Hotel when he veered off the road, hitting a sign and crashing into a pole. More than a dozen bystanders got out of their vehicles to try and free the man, but their efforts became even more challenging when the fuel in the car caught fire. When I arrived on scene, um, I had one vehicle um, with uh, heavy smoke showing. Um, and uh, civilians trying to extinguish the fire and uh, get the victim out. When fire crews arrived on scene, they were able to put the fire out, and after about 20 minutes, they were able to free the driver from the smash van. The impact of the vehicle. Um, there was so much damage to the vehicle that it uh, required uh, extensive extirpation. The driver was taken to Mount Nittany Medical Center, and a short time later, he was pronounced dead. Lisa Powers, a spokesperson for the university, said, We are profoundly saddened by this tragic accident. It is always painful to hear of the loss of any student, and our hearts go out to his family and friends. Now the name of that student driver has not been released and State College Police, you can see right behind me, they are still continuing their investigation. It's a little hard to see, but you can see the burnt and charred vehicle is now being towed away from the scene and you can be sure we'll have all of the new information up to date. So stay with us on air or online for all the new developments in the story. Reporting live in State College, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.